y'all I wanted to start this video showing you how much length I've retained over the last month and a half using this regimen if you want to see how then Lego hey again y'all so I'm starting off this routine on dry dirty hair I always start deep conditioning on dry or damp hair and I section my hair into two sections deep conditioning on dry hair just helps the product to penetrate better into my low porosity strands I then split that section into smaller sections and I begin to finger the tangle to help loosen up knots and tangles and shed hair from the previous style, from the previous week, it just gets the party started. So I'm going in with my deep conditioner. I won't be mentioning products today but I'll link them all down below. Honestly products are not important, it's really about the technique. Regardless of the product that I use, and I use dozens, I use hundreds even, I always use the same technique. Make sure you use a deep conditioner with a lot of slip, especially if you're deep conditioning on dry hair like I am. So I just go in and I finger to tangle. I don't use combs ever or hardly, so I just go in and finger to tangle. And then you can see that your curls loosen up, and then you twist the section up and you move on to the next section. I end up with eight twists throughout my head. So again, I go in and I finger detangle, just separating my hair, just going in and finger detangling. Then I add my conditioner. I always start on the ends when I work my way up to the roots because the ends are the oldest part of your hair and they are thirsty and dry and they need lots of attention. And I just finger detangle that conditioner through, make the curls pop, get rid of shed hair, and I twist it up. So now I just apply some shower caps and these are small as heck, so I use two. <laughs> I then wear my hot head for 30 minutes, so I'm wearing a swimsuit for y'all crazy people out there. And I'm just rinsing out the deep conditioner for my twist. I leave my twist in initially, but you'll see later what I do. And my hair y'all is so soft. So now I go in with my co-wash and I keep the twist in so I can really get to my scalp initially. I just go in and use the pads of my fingers, not my nails, to lift the dirt off of my scalp. Now I'm taking down my twist. I know some naturals will wash their hair in twists and that works best for them. But for me, product just gets trapped in my hair that way, so I have to take my twist down. But do whatever works for you. And you can see that this product is creating a really good lather. I don't use shampoo. I hardly use shampoo. I don't think I need shampoo, so I don't use it. <laughs> and I make sure I bring the product down to my ends, and the product is not stripping, so I'm allowed to do so. And then I just rinse the product out. You can't see the water running, but trust me, it's running. <laughs> The next step is to go in and co-wash again. I always co-wash twice. The first step is to lift the dirt off of my hair. And the second step is to actually get the dirt out of my hair. Does that make sense? I don't know. I got the tip from Felicia Leatherwood, who was a celebrity stylist years ago. And I've been doing it since 2012. So, hey, <laughs> it works. I'm only using a different co-wash because I ran out of the first one. You don't have to use two different co-washes. So now I'm just rinsing it out. As you can see, I'm smoothing my hair a lot. That just helps to minimize tangling and just to also loosen up more shed hair. Now I'm squeezing excess water out of my hair. Because I'm low porosity, I need to do this step just to allow the conditioner to penetrate better. Excess water really blocks the moisture in my opinion. And I slather conditioner on. My hair is really moisturized right now, but I love to take it up to the next level and I go in with a conditioner as well. I know some people will only co-wash and don't follow up with a rinse out conditioner, but not over here, boo-boo, not over here. I always condition as well. And you can see the conditioner is layered on, but also that my curls are beginning to pop, 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 pop. And now I just finish up my shower, and then after showering and doing all my showerly things, I rinse my hair out of the conditioner, again, smoothing my hair, and these are the results. My hair is shiny, mad shiny, even though I haven't used oil, and the curls are popping. Now I am braiding my hair up into two braids to allow my hair to air dry for 30 minutes to an hour. 
So the purpose of air drying is to allow the products again to better penetrate your hair and I'm starting on one section. I split that section into two sections and I spray on a leave-in conditioner. I already have a video on the LCO method. I will link it down below. I'm not going to go in depth in this video. So I apply my cream. I detangle for a final detangle and then I apply some shea butter to really seal all of that moisture in. But again, I have an entire video on the LCO method. And now I'm just doing a three strand twist. Yes, boo, three strand twist. And if you want a detailed video on my twist out routine, definitely let me know. So look at my twist. They're soft, they're juicy, the ends are cold perfectly, there's no straggly ends. You know that my hair is optimally healthy. I'm taking my twist down again this is not going to be detailed because this is an entire video by itself so if you want to see a twist out routine video let me know so I separate my hair a lot I prefer a bigger hair over definition because of my fine strands my hair would be super flat so this is what my hair looks like but of course I need it to be even bigger so I go in with my Curidu which I use to stretch deep condition and everything use the code steam blowout for $10 off y'all I'll leave some links down below to my Curidoo videos. So this is what my hair looks like. It's big, it's bouncy, it's full, like, my hair looks so, so bomb. And if you want details on my color, click the card above for all the deets. <laughs> you welcome. You see the difference between the Curidoo and not using the Curidoo? For me, it's a huge difference. And of course, I love a good old pop, so I just threw my hair in a pop just to show you what that would look like. If this video has been helpful for you, definitely share it with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Let's get it to 500 likes. Happy growing, guys. Love you.